Hello Saber fans, Darth Fatal here. Today's video will be potentially my last on the Black Lotus and it's regards to um, updates and uh, all the problems I've been experiencing. Um, a little disclaimer, I have been uh, working nonstop, so I have not been able to send out my Lotus um, with the email that Saber Forge has sent me back and then I haven't had the time to put in an RMA form to then send to them with the updated email still valid so it's a constant cat and mouse game so hopefully this video is the end of that and I can finally get it sent to them and fixed along with my uh, Templar crossguard from them so this is just going to be a video on all of my um, right now electronic problems and maybe a few physical problems with my Lotus that I've addressed in previous videos and emails sent to Saber Forge. So on my Lotus, uh, minus the Templar pommel because that's removable, as of right now during dueling uh, with my brother after I took all the claws off because I'm not messing those up. Those are too gorgeous. Um, after dueling, or during dueling with my brother, I, um, we clashed, um, I would say a medium clash. Uh, regardless, um, he hit my saber uh, hard enough that um, the impact loosened the activation switch wire in here and this is fully charged so um, I noticed immediately and the because I noticed and the saber was still on but the activation switch turned off and what happened was he hit it so hard that the activation LED and the whole mechanism for turning it on the whole AV switch was dead and uh, the, the saber was still working so I had to let it die on its, on its by itself sitting on a shelf um, and then I can take a look at it because it was really annoying when I could not shut it off I literally was could not shut it off and I found out why later when I took out the uh, quick connect LED and took a flashlight in there and the connections are severed um, by heat and impact. It was mainly a heat problem, I think, that um, really really heated up the wires uh, loose. They uh, they looked uh, white, whitish charred material, just like I had my deep red LED before it broke. Um, the wires were uh, firm on my deep red LED and they had the white crusty charred uh, plastic look um, and that's what I saw in here um, after I took the LED out and peered down with the flashlight even though this is a machine part um, it's it's completely dead and unless I can send this back it's a darn shame because this is honestly one of the coolest looking savers out there on the market and for my dumb luck I have had a horrible experience so what this video is going to serve is my potential final review slash I need to, to send this to you Saber Forge because I need to fix it before Celebration Chicago. Um, so, I am going to demo this, because I am holding this. Nothing's happening. It's, it's clearly off. It's clearly off. It's off. So... And then I don't have my retention screw. I've emailed that several times, even though you guys have sent me the new, I think, V5 Infinity Edge um, with the hybrid tip, uh, the really nice blade. I don't want to do with these because of how nice they look. Um, and also, 
uh, this is my brother's disciple, but I put in the uh, deep red LED because this one, funny enough that as soon as this arrives, this gets broken. Um, anyway, the, the deep red LED works. And I put it in this one because I can't have fun with my other one. And these new blades look great, by the way. So anyway... I can't use my Lotus for what's, what other purpose other than display on my belt or on my display stand in my room. Which is a shame. Because this is my cosplay hilt. And... Um, I've been e I emailed multiple times about the screw that was in the deep red email of my damaged products that Saber Forge got back to me, and they sent me th the blades refunded, and they are currently sending my um, replacement deep red uh, or my replacement red day blade V4 Infinity Edge. Um, they're currently out of stock in that, but they um, have said. They are replacing that one as well. I got two of those new blades and the deep red LED module, but not the screws. And I tried to make my point clear that I need at least one screw in my past couple emails. Um, I don't know if they're watching my videos because they're a little long, but I have so many problems it needs to be long and I need to address it make it clear that I need help. Um, at this point, I might send it to a private installer to gut it and maybe put a prism in there or a crystal focus. Uh, I don't know. Um, but another thing I wanted to talk about was initially um, I had the intention of swapping the claws out for a all venom configuration like the sorcerer or an all viper configuration because they did not have an all viper saber um so the idea was to get viper claws a set of three and a set of venom claws a set of three um and i thought this the screws would already be sized properly for the intended saber. Um, I was wrong. When I got this, I did make amends and uh, noticed that these screws are not um, filed to the correct size that the base hilts was. They are a little off, and I will show that to you in a sec. I just got to um, loosen here. And the other thing was, they when I was sent my Lotus, they did not send me a proper uh, Allen key to um, to loosen this. And thank God I had one for my saber stand, because it's the exact same diameter. So, let me real quick show you what I'm talking about on the uh, Venom and Viper Claws. Because it is not the same length on the screw and I have said in my emails at least two of them to Saberforge they I have asked them hey could you sand down my my screws properly when I send this back and I don't think they were getting that these two are not the same length you can clearly see the Saber and what I was sent in the in the um, kit. All right, so the the black anodized is the saber, and the silver is the kit of three. And that is true for my lotus. Even though this was in the weathered finish, this is the saber, and this is the kit um camera isn't focusing enough there you go hopefully i can get them level there you go now now you can totally tell the difference so the one on the left 
is the saber, and the one on the right is the kit, and it's a little longer. So this digs into my blade plug, and you can see the indentations it has made for the corresponding screws. So that was impossible for me to interchange the claws on that thing, and it still is without proper screw length on that. And I am not skilled enough to take um, a lathe or whatever whatever machining you would need to do to have that proper screw length. And um, that was one of the main purposes why I bought the separate cloths so I can have an interchangeable universal saber. Plus this choke point, once you take off the claws, is amazing. Once you have the Phoenix pommel on it, it's a great one hand hilt, hands down, for dueling. That's why I bought it, and it looked pretty badass, and you could interchange the crap out of it. So, that is the current state of things with my Lotus. I can't turn it on. I can't charge it. Um, I mean, I can charge it, but it won't do me any good. Um, I need to get an RMA form filled out to send them this my Lotus and my Templar to get fixed. Um, trying to do that as soon as possible. It's really hard for me uh, at a 60 hour work week and I have a variable schedule so I'm not uh, I don't know when I'm going to work the next day um, within reason so I really need this fixed um, before Celebration Chicago um, I'm gonna shoot Saber Forge this video and hopefully I get helped out because I am really disappointed with this the saber side of things um, and just I sent them that the damaged products email and it took them a week at least a week and a half to reply back to me I think it was two two weeks in a day or something like that I cannot recall but I know it was more than a week to reply back to me and by then um, if I make this video and I send it to them literally the day after with an email attached to it and if they don't watch the video and they read the email they might not get the correct details that this video is entailing that I need them to do um, so that's that I hope to God that they watch this video because I need help guys please help me um, and with all of the things that have transpired with this thing the through the wrong sizings of the screw the loss of the retention screw was my fault um, but and the AV switch getting knocked out completely and the deep red LED being completely knocked out even though I got that replaced, it's all fine. I would hopefully like to get a severe discount on a Spark Color 2 in this baby. Because I am really disappointed. This is a gorgeous hilt and it did not need to go out this way. And I hope this is not one of the last times I'm holding it. Because my biggest fear was sending it back and not ever receiving it um, to from an in installer or just the lack of not having it when I have it is uh, and in, uh, a hindrance to me so hopefully we can get that fixed so thank you very much for watching and may the force be with you